That may have been one of the hardest guitar shots I've ever seen. And now he's got Louis again. Oh my God. What the hell is wrong with these two? And the crowd showing their appreciation for what was an extremely hard guitar shot. Looked like it may have compressed the neck of Louis. These matches can be extremely dangerous, which is why many wrestlers, well, they don't feel the need to get into this hardcore style. Most wrestlers have a very short lifespan and becoming a hardcore wrestler, well, shortens it even further. As Len circling the ring now, looking under the ring for what appears to be chairs or any other weapons or objects he can find to try to put an end to Louis. And Louis is starting to come to his feet. Like I said, these two guys, I don't think you can find any two tougher men in FTW or in all of wrestling. And Oddity going to work on the forehead of Louis, which has just been pulverized by staple guns. And now Len, well that's a, that's a drill, a working drill. And he's drilling a nail into the head of lowlife Louis. He's drilling a nail into the head of Louis. Oh my goodness. If you have a weak stomach, I suggest you stop watching this match now. But this is FTW and this is what we're all about. I don't mean just hardcore wrestling. I mean two guys going out there and busting their ass for the fans and giving them what they want. And that's a quality good match and both men want to win. You gotta wonder if there's some sort of concussion that may be forthcoming for Louie if he hasn't had one already. And Len sets up Louie under those chairs and continues to bash away at him with that guitar. And now he's got the guitar case. Great. Once again, setting Louie up under that, those chairs and the guitar case and a leg drop. Goes for the cover, the first one of the match. One, two, only a two count. And Louis appears to have a second wind all of a sudden. Telling Len Otta that he hit him. And both men on their knees exchanging blows. Who will get the better of each other here? Now Louis with the barbed wire, which sticks to the shirt of Len Oddity. That is real barbed wire, folks. There's no gimmick stuff here. Now Louis with that Black & Decker drill in hand. He's going to work on the far head of Len Oddity. Both men are busted wide open. And this has been a war thus far, exactly what we expected. And this truly has been a street fight. Both men wanting to prove to themselves as well as the fans that they are the hardcore representative here in FTW. They are the man to be reckoned with. And they're both proving it to us right now. Oh, and Louis pulls referee Chuck Morris in front of him. And Morris appears to be out. What an underhanded move there by Louis. Kind of cheap, but whatever it takes to win. I feel like there may be something else. And apparently, Louis just spilled some thumbtacks out on the ring. And he's face down on them now. Oh. And I believe some of those tacks landed in the derriere of Len Oddity. There you can see them right there. And now it looks like Oddity setting up Louie for the coronation. And he gets him up this time. And the coronation on those thumbtacks. Oh. And an extremely slow 
two count from referee Chuck Morris. And Len Oddity shows him his displeasure. And, oh, well that's just, that's just not right. Chuck Morris giving Len Oddity the bird. And Oddity won't stand for it as he lays out Chuck Morris. You know what, good. I think I've seen enough of Chuck Morris myself. And the fans showing their approval and now it looks like he's gonna give Chuck Morris the coronation. No! Oh my goodness! Referee Chuck Morris just got coronated. But Louis capitalizes on Oddity's distraction. Louis lands a Death Valley driver onto the chairs. And I don't, I don't see Oddity moving. And Chuck Morris, two, and the three count. What's up guys, welcome back to FTW Overdrive. I hope you enjoyed that match. And as I said before, that was a perfect example of just how much heart and determination Len Oddity has. Although he didn't win the match, he showed why he can be one of the toughest here in FTW. And Jim Sullivan is going to have his hands full come September the 13th at Rise Against when him and Len Oddity will meet one-on-one. -on -one. Now we're going to switch gears here again and let you know about another match that was just signed. I'm telling you about it firsthand right now for FTW Rise Against. And it'll see Javier going one-on-one -on -one with the good guy, Azriel. Now these two were originally supposed to meet at Road to Gold, but an ankle injury unfortunately kept Azriel from making his FTW debut and he was unable to wrestle. Since that time, Javier has been on an incredible winning streak. He is undefeated, defeating the likes of Christian Frost, Dan Barry, and at Road to Gold, he defeated Azriel's replacement, Cryptic Keegan. And we're going to show you that match right now, and this was the start of Javier's unbeaten streak. Check it out. Let's get things underway here, ref. Lock up. Javier takes him behind. Cryptic trying to break the hold. And he does into an arm ringer. And he has that wrist lock cinched in. Now you see Javier trying to break out of it, but he really doesn't have the leverage right now. As you see Cryptic driving that knee into the kidneys of Javier. And a beautiful reversal fireman's carry into an arm bar of his own. Javier extremely athletic. And as I said earlier, these two seem to match up very well. I think the strength advantage may go a bit towards Cryptic. Speed may be even, Javier may have a slight advantage. But when you think about tenacity and heart and dedication, well, I don't want to take anything away from Cryptic, but Javi seems to be the tops in that department. As the crowd once again firmly behind Javier. And Javi goes down hard. <laughs> what a wonderful person. Goes for the hip toss, blocked by Cryptic. Backslide, no. Off the ropes again goes Javi. Ducks the clothesline. Into a head scissors from Javier. That came out of nowhere. And Cryptic is completely stunned, having to have the ropes hold him up. But he answers back with a spinning heel kick that catches Javi right in the bite of the jaw. Great resiliency there shown by Cryptic. And folks, I can't even tell you how excited I am about our main event here tonight. Sabu versus the Grim Reaper versus Danny DeManto versus Jim Sullivan in a fatal four-way elimination match. And the last two men remaining in that match, while well, they're gonna advance to the finals of the Road to Gold tournament to compete for the FTW world title. And there will be no rules in that match. As Cryptic climbs the top, but Javi drop kicks him to the outside. Cryptic seems to be holding his head in pain. I'm not sure if he fell on the back of his head. 